Right then, I'll be two moments. Hey, J Rod, mate. Right then, this is Sharky from Sharky. So, I'm hoping this microphone um, and headset doesn't play up with some games because it's known to. Um, so, we've done big updates, um, setting a lot of stuff up, making sure that the Retro Beast now works with the Shark Shooter. Now, this is going to turn the shark shooter into an all-in-one ultimate arcade light gun setup so you just aren't fixed to the alien gun kit that's fixed to the unit if you have the aim track guns the um, gun for IR guns the blamcom and the retro shooters um, you can set that up with this 
system. Now all those goodies are run through Chris Cool Mod's retro beast drive. Hey Chris mate, all right. Yeah, so everything now is um, added onto the system. So there's an extra two terabytes, that's three terabytes of shooting games and gun setups. So like I say, we have the alien fixed guns as our main setup. And then we've got an extra two terabyte drive, which allows the um, aim track, Blamcom, retro shoot, a Wii controller kit. I think there's also some Xbox controlled games as well on the system. And you can even possibly in the future just add a add-on drive to have next gen PC titles. I'll probably have a um, talk with Chris about that because these units do have an RTX 3060 graphics card so you can play some cool next gen titles. So maybe we can do a bigger add-on drive, say an 8TB add-on drive to then allow a ton of next gen titles. Um, if you want the retro beast set up on your Sharkade unit you do have to go to Chris Cool Mods Direct to order your 2TB light gun drive. Um, basically all the purchases are done through him as the light gun drives you'll get your you purchase your order direct from him just prove that you have a shock shooter set up um, and then he'll make sure that drive is set up ready to plug and play into your shock shooter if you have a previous version of our shock shooters you can send your drive back or purchase an upgrade drive from us and um, basically it's a terabyte upgrade drive um, that will be able to clone over to your old previous drive and then off you go. It takes usually a couple of hours to do a clone of the drive. Um, you just set it off, once it's cloned over, restart the machine, unplug the drive um, and off you go. And you'll have all the new setup, all the extra goodies. So before I jump into Chris's drive, I'm going to just go through quickly some new stuff that we have added to the system. So we've added the PS2 titles. Now we've gone through every title, make sure every title is working and working properly with the recoil. So we have um, Virtual Cop, Vampire Knight, Time Crisis 3. I think Vampire Knight has a cursor. Um, issue generally in the game um, Chris done some magic in the background I'm not going to explain how he done it um, but he managed to get the cursor to shoot exact um, on the system um, and he's a very 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 clever man um, brilliant idea what he come up with um, it's so simple as well but I'm not going to um, say anything else on that but um, it, it's it's that simple, it's stupid why no one else had thought of it, but it's ridiculous, he's always coming up with cool new ideas, that's why he's one of the best people to work with, um, honestly, he does some amazing work in the background. So, we have Time Crisis 3, Time Crisis 2 on there, we also have Time Crisis, Crisis Zone. Um, and like I say, virtual cop and so on. Um, I think the PS2 stuff does play up with my headset, so I'll not load it up. Um, I noticed a problem before with the, um, where is it, the Sega Model 2, was it? Because we've done a ton of changes and a ton of changes to Demol Shooter. Demol Shooter is now running out of one folder other than Tomb Raider. I think Tomb Raider, it's got to be running for some reason. Don't know why it might be Windows 10 or something like that. Because it doesn't do it on Chris's end on Windows 11. But for some reason, it's got to be run through the main folder you start having weird issues and stuff like that within the game um, but other than that it's it, it's easy set up if it, if it ever needs reconfigured and um, you just contact me I'll jump on it'll take me two minutes and um, but other than that you have all your demo shooter stuff working from the tools menu so if you did want to change or readjust your calibration or anything like that you can do from our tools menu um, but like I say, because we've done so many changes on the system, um, folders have changed slightly and games have moved around and stuff like that. Um, the demo shoot has been all updated as well, so I've had to change the way a couple of games load in. Um, one game, wait, one system is the Sega Model 2. 
Now, for some reason, when it was loading up, it was recognizing the aim, but it wasn't recognizing the trigger. Um, and the reason was, is because it needed a wait. It needed a so many second wait. Now, we'd never done that before, but because we've been messing on and changing stuff and adding stuff and adding new setups, it, it just must be something it needs now. Um, but that's all sorted, all fixed. Um, so basically, if I just load up Virtual Cop 2, hopefully it doesn't call us a liar and it bloody works when I'm actually doing a live stream. But I've done extensive testing. I have been in, started it up, shut it down, started it up, shut it down, closed it off, stuff like that. And it seemed to work every time. So, add a couple of credits. And there we go. So before I was pulling the trigger when I first loaded the game, it, I would have to exit the game a couple of times and reload the game. For some reason, like I say, a demo shooter wasn't kicking in correctly. Though it was having a cursor movement, it wasn't exactly um, allowing trigger pull um, but it works spot on as you can see there now we haven't enabled the recoil on this um, but there is recoil on this game and there is um, a digital display when you load MAME hooker up so when you load your recoil profile up you will have your display on the system and as you can see there the accuracy is pretty spot on on this game Oh, missed him. But yeah, you do have a bullet counter on this. I think, is it six bullets there? Yeah, six bullets. And when you press the trigger when me and Luke has loaded, it will count down um, your bullets and go to zero. So let's exit that game. And I just want to just jump into Virtual Cop one there just make sure that it is working Loading. um i've got to check my um techno parrot profile on here because i tried loading a patreon game before and it wouldn't load because of the key and i read up somewhere that a few people had an issue with their patreon key now this unit isn't going to go off with a patreon key on it and um, you do have to pay a small subscription for that and that's for games like um Right, so hold on there. So I'm still having, looks like I'm still having the same issue. Um, let's quit that out. Give it a few seconds, go back. So it looks like that didn't fix our problem. Loading. This is a problem when you live stream as well. You do your tests, you check them, come to a live stream, something always goes wrong. So let's double check it. Like I say, there was a fade there. So now still nothing through. And I have just, just literally tested this game. Um, let's go back. Let's see if it kicks in again. Loading. It could well be a closed down issue of Demol Shooter. Maybe it didn't close Demol Shooter down correctly. It could be possibly that. Right, let's... Let's truly... Right, what was it? Virtual Cop 1, wasn't it? We were having issues with. Loading. Bloody system. Oh, you have the full screen. Sega Model 2. Cool, man. Yeah, the way I've been stuck, Jay, um, with this bloody machine that's gone off today. So that's gone off today customers come and picked it up um, I'm on to the next unit I don't know what's going on there I'll check it out once I finish the live stream um, really don't know what's going on there um, I'll double check as well just to make sure my Patreon is working because it was set up um, and I paid this month so it should be working um, but I'll double check I know a couple of customers 
And a couple of people um, did comment about their Patreon key not working. But we'll see. Maybe it maybe it has sorted out. There we go. It looks like that's loading. So it looks like my Patreon key is working. Now, you do need, um, like I say, a Patreon key for Techno Parrot for a handful of games. So there's going to be some new titles like um, Jurassic Park, stuff like that, that you do need a Patreon key for. Like I say, Mark, mate, I've been all week, I've been trying to get this other unit sorted, ready to get room for um, your, your build and the next two builds as well. So I'm going to try and push, I think, yours is it this week. Yours is the Iron Man one, isn't it? I've got the right person. Select a level. Wait, it's not Iron Man, it's the other design I've done, wasn't it? But originally it was going to be Iron Man. Right, so Jurassic Park's working there. So the Patreon's working on there. But yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at Sega Model 2. Uh, it'll be an easy fix. I'll sort that out. Um, just I want to double check as well. I'll double check and see an eye on so the gun games, and let's just look at House of the Dead too. Loading. So it's rather one or two things. Um, with Model Two, it's rather the um, demol shoot is not loading incorrectly, or it's not exiting out correctly. Um, it could be not exiting out because it worked the first time on the first game and then it didn't work on the second so it could just be that so let's add a couple of credits press start yeah the joker one that's it i've completely forgot the design i'm going to try and start that monday tuesday mate and just work on through through the weekend and get that sorted for you so we do have the six bullets there. Uh, you can't see, but I do have six bullets. Two, one, zero. So I've got the, the we have got the um, Naomi Gun games loading now. It does load with a recoil. I've got to try and figure out. Maybe I might add a, an option to have disabled recoil on those games. It's because, like I say, we've changed a lot of scripts, a lot of bad files. I just while that's loaded in demo shooter correctly, I'm just gonna go back. To virtual cop and see if it's fixed it. Loading. Now that recoiled there when it started as well. No, still haven't got the shoot for some reason. It's a, it's weird what it's doing because it is moving around. So it is moving around. Um, so demol shoot is working on the gun, but for some reason the trigger's not working, which is strange. Like I say, I've just just tested this game out before I started the stream, so I'll have a look at it in a ways when I finish the stream. So what I've done the live video for. <laughs> yeah, nine hours live stream. It was ridiculous, man. <laughs> right. So, main reason for the live stream is Chris Cool Mods Drive. So, like I say, I've done some um, configs and mess around to make sure that the sharpshooter controls are working within the menu. Also. Um, so let's just jump into his drive. So we now can use the left and right pinball button on the unit to go through the games. And then if you wanted to load anything on his drive you just pull the trigger so i want to go to light guns 
and then I want to have a look through. Now we don't have any gun for IR gun set up at the moment on it. Um, uh, Chris has done in-depth videos how to set up his drives and how to um, change your different guns and stuff like that. So he has a massive collection of stuff on there. Um, so he has an old games. He has one player gun games, two player and four player. He has main light gun games, arcade gunners. Um, Tori, I've not checked that one out yet. Um, he has a Thomas Wave on there, Dreamcast, Sega Genesis stuff, Sega Ikara, is it? Ika? Ikara or something? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Sega Master System, the M2, M3 as well, MS DOS games, Naomi, the SNES, NES, sorry, Duck Station as well, which is PlayStation. PlayStation 2, which we also have on the Sharkhead setup. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there, so that's skip back. Um, the PS3 stuff as well, which I haven't checked that out yet. Um, seeing the um, Super Nintendo shooters, Techno Parrot, and we. So let's have a look at his Techno Parrot collection. He has a ton of stuff on here and some obvious um, Patreon games. So I know America's Army is Patreon. Now, we would likely have to set the same Patreon key up for Chris Cool Mods. I haven't checked this whole drive out yet, so I don't know if he's got a setup where you can install the Patreon key straight from the menus. Um, so I'll have a look and I'll try and have a look at that. Or you can comment below if he's watching. It's not the guns, it's the um, pinball buttons as well, buddy. It's the pinball buttons scrolling through correctly. Um, so, obviously, you'd have to set up your Patreon key as well on Chris's drive. So, as long as you've got the Patreon key, we can jump on, set it up on his drives, and set it up on my drive. And then, all those Patreon games that you have for the... If you're using Gun for IR, or you're using Retro Shooter, they'll work all on his drive as well. Um, not a Patreon game, I believe. I think that's Patreon. I'm not sure about Block Kings. That may be Patreon. Beyond Beyond might be. Castlevania shouldn't be. Elevator Action Death Parade shouldn't be Patreon. I think Invasion is so. Far Cry Paradise. Lost Friction. Gyre Attack Force. The Golden Gun. Ghost Squad Evolution. Now, I don't have this version of this game. It might be with having a look and try and get this game added on my setup as well. Um, Xeon, um, Haunted Museum, House of the Dead 4, House of the Dead 4 Special I believe is Patreon, so is House of the Dead EX, House of the Dead Scarlet Dawn, now we have Infinity Blade as well there, that used to be like a mobile game, which is cool, um, it'd be interesting to see it work with the guns, um, Jurassic Park, another Patreon game, Lethal of Forces 3, Let's Go Island, Let's Go Jungle, Let's Go Jungle Special, Lost Land Adventure, Luigi's Mansion, Music Gun Gun 2, Operation Ghost Quality Game, Police Trainer 2 I believe is, uh, is that Patreon? I think that's one of the new ones, yeah, Prime, Primeval Hunt, Rambo, Dream Raiders, Silent Hill, The Arcade, Star Trek, Voyager, Target, Terra, Gold, Terminator, Salvation, Transformers, Human Alliance, and more Tran Troopers. And down to Spacey. So, if I put up this again. What is my back button? Ah, that's it. Because my coin on this will quit out of RetroArch. Not RetroArch, sorry. Um, we'll quit out of the Retro Beast Drive, but if you press your right button, which is your um, reload button on the gun, that will back you out, and if you pull the trigger, it'll load into the game for Chris's drive. Um, I think he's got a tools option. Let's have a look. Oh, have I quit completely? No, right. So is it gun apps? I'm not 100% familiar with Chris's drive yet, so that's it. So with Chris's drive, you can enable the crosshairs, if you like me and prefer crosshairs. Um, you can enable a cursor if a game requires it. Now, you can set the gun for IR up. 
the retro shooter, um, Secho Demol shooter as well, um, Secho Techno Parrot up, um, enable your crosshairs and back again. Now, if you don't recognize who that is in the background there, that is Retro Ralph. Um, two moments, I'm just gonna. Where's my drink gone? I put things down and I can never find it. I'll have a look in a minute. But um, yeah, that's Chris's gun apps, basically his tools option. So you can do everything from the menu there, set everything up. So if you're going to use a gun for IR guns, retro shooter guns, or um, set up other um, gun controllers, Chris has plenty of videos where he shows this off. Retro Ralph, like I say, has done a video of this um, and shows how to set everything up and stuff like that. Um, but Chris's drive, gun drive, will work alongside my setup. Now, if you do have a light gun shooter um, from any other company, you can, like I say, use Chris's drive to completely take over their system. And it is worth it. It's one of the best gun drive setups you can get. Now, his drive isn't going to be supporting the alien light guns. Um, them will only work, his drive will only work alongside with the shark shooter. So if you want the ultimate all-in-one shooter kit you can like i say purchase a shark edge unit and then go straight ahead and purchase your two terabyte add-on from chris cool mods you'll likely get your drive before you get your shooter um but that way if you get your drive you can plug it in you can use your gun for ir guns with it ready on any pc you can set it up on so you're not just tied to shark Aid, shark shooter his drive, like I say, will also work on other systems also, other PCs. So if you wanted to take it around a friend's house with your guns, um, with, with some gun for IR guns or retro shooter guns, you can just take it around your friend's house. You don't have to carry your shark aid unit around. Um, if you wanted it to take the whole kit around, you can. These shark shooters are transportable. So let's have a look. He has we like gun stuff as well. So he has a ton of Wii games on there. Now we likely update our games alongside these games as well. And um, the ones that will be worth playing with the arcade guns. Now there's a couple of games there I don't recognize. And um, so I may add a few of those games on my setup as well. And then you've got the full support for all games. And um, let's head back. If we head into light guns again. Now he does have techno parrot stuff on there that you can control with controller. So there is going to be driving games and stuff like that on there. Also we just need one key then. It's going to work alongside is it? Right, so I want to have a look on this drive because it is, like I say, there's a ton more games Chris has on here. Um, which one's PC games? Arcade Gunner, is that the one? Let's have a look. Like I say, I'm not 100% familiar with Chris's drive. It's all new to me. Like gun shooters. Now we'll have Techno Parrot stuff there. Let's go to all games. And let's take a look through all games. So there is going to be some games, like I say, that will only work with... Won't work with the shark shooters. Will work with the gun for IR only. Or any other light gun. Because these are analog guns and not light guns themselves, so there will be some newer titles you'll find, especially ones like um, is it on there? Actually, we'll have a look. You should have it on here. Have you got a PC games collection, dude? On there, arcade gunner. Oh, arcade gunner is PC, right? Right, cool. Cheers, dude. You answered my question before, actually asked it so right all the pc stuff that's it 
So this should be Blue Estate. Such a good game, man. Um, Blue Estate is such, such a good game. Um, that's one that won't currently work with the alien fixed guns. It's a shame. It's one of those things. Um, if they ever come along with a fix or a patch for it, that would be brilliant. It's such a good game, Blue Estate. But it, it is a pistol shooter anyways. Um, I do recommend you use a pistol with the game. It's such a good game. Um, Corpse Killer, don't think I've heard of that one. Um, we have Dark Escape 4D there. Now there is a Super Pets one there, which looks cool. So we have Dead Containment. Now, we will be looking at adding for these guns as well is maybe a couple of them Xbox 360 I'll do some tests see if I can get it working with these guns because there was a couple of games I've seen on there that were quality um, Dead Containment must be and not even seen that game before and um, Death Live Duck Fighting we have Elevate Action so a Techno Parrot game AX Zodiac never even heard of it so another one of those flight shooters where you move the gun around. Cool. Friction. We have Fruit Ninja. Gaia Attack. Four. Gal Gun Returns. Not seen that one before either. That's that's interesting. So we have Grand Shooter. Heavy Weapon Deluxe. House of the Dead Remakes on there. Lighthouse of the Dead. I did try and test this game out with the um, arcade guns as well. Like I say, it doesn't work with the arcade guns. You do need a light gun. Mad Bullets, that's another one I need to take a look at. Because that's like Wild West Shootout, isn't it? And I don't have that set up yet. Um, does that run through Demo Shooter, dude? Because if it runs through Demo Shooter, we can get it set up. We have, which one's that? That's Deadstone Pirates video, isn't it? Oh, Night Hunter. No, no, it's Night Hunter. Operation Wolf returns. Pip, pip. Never even heard of it. Pixel Crisis. Cool. Heh. <laughs> Rabbit Protocol. So, a ton of stuff I've never even heard of. Um, loads of different games, like I say, all working with the Gun for IR guns and stuff. Now, I'll just show that things load on his drive. Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. Let's, let's try that game. So like I say, you pull the trigger on his drive, which is a cool, cool addition. I like the way that works on his setup. Now it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't work like that on my setup. I may have to have a look at how I've set it up for his um, and try and set it up for mine. Now, like I say, it is new drive. So Point there is going to be RK. some stuff that's in 1080p resolution. Let's have a look. Like I say. Also, there's a sending board I built into the game. That's cool. Let's switch it to full screen. Point so I'm just using the mouse at the moment, but if you had a gun for IR gun or sending light gun, it would work with this. Just basically a time crisis clone. Point rescue. RK. Our virtual cop clone, I suppose. Right, let's head down. What, what game's that? Let's load that up. Oh, wrong button again. Oh yeah. Let's try Lighthouse again. Right, it's me trigger. I keep pressing the wrong button. Like I say, if you wish, if you do have a shark shooter already, you can purchase Chris's drive direct from his website. 
Now, if you don't have the backup drive, you can purchase a backup drive from me. What I'll do is I'll reclone this drive um, as a fresh install. I can send you a clone drive off. You then would have to open your shark shooter up, plug in the drive, clone it from that drive to the other drive, which I'll guide you through. Um, I'm happy to show you once or twice how to do it, um, or just until you get it. Um, basically, we plug in the drive, we clone it over, that'll then fully restore your shark shooter with all the new setup, with all the new games, ready for retro be set up. And all I've done, I haven't done anything else other than plug in Chris's drive. So once we've got it all set up, all we do now is just plug in his drive, it recognises, recognises as a right drive folder, and um, we've got our synergy links and stuff, sim links, sorry, and stuff like that, all sorted, so basically when it's looking at his drive, it's uh, also looking through my drive, stuff like that, so we've done a lot, a lot of work, um, let's just, so we've got clear there, I'm only using a little mouse for this at the moment, like I say, I don't have a gun for IR gun plugged in or anything, or the sensor set up. Let's quit that. Oh, I pressed that start. Because I'm used to pressing start on the arcade. And um, instead, I may change that button on my setup as well. So let's try my bullets. Right, so we had an error there, Chris. Any idea? What was that? I missed that. Let's move on from that then and try the next game. Yeah, so Mad Bullets wasn't loading there then, dude. With Chris's drive as well, you can update his drive. So you can, I think you've got to go to his Discord and stuff, um, and then you can set up your updates and stuff on his drive. You don't have to have it plugged into the shark shooter either. Um, my setup is on my end, so if there's anything that doesn't seem to load into his drive, if it doesn't load into his drive, then it needs to set up on my end. If it's not working on his drive, then you can just report the issue to Chris. He'll update it, I think once a month he updates it. Um, so he finds out if something's not working right or not loading in right. And then he'll update it, he'll just update your drive straight from the site. Um, and off you go basically. But he does have, um, it's all fixed you. Oh yeah, yeah, because I have the older drive. <laughs> no problem, dude. Yeah, we're gonna, you're gonna have to show us how to update on your end as well, because we haven't gone through that yet. No problem, man. Yeah, so like I say, Chris does do updates. Um, is there any games that shouldn't be working then, man? Put them in the comments, man. Missile Command. That's that's a cool game, um, hard man. You do probably need a light gun to play that. Um, it, it it is hard with a controller. I've played with a controller. I played with a mouse actually, and it's a pretty hard game. Let's head down. What have I been through them all? I did. I skip back up. What's that real break? Right, pull the trigger this time. It's cool. We did actually have. Me and Chris had the guns moving on the menu, but because the guns naturally lean forward and back and stuff like that, or to the side, um, the problem we had is it would constantly scroll through the menu. Um, you would have to centre the guns each time if you wanted to stop it scrolling. So we disabled that feature. Um, now we just have the left and right pinball buttons move through like it does on the main menu but that trigger idea i might set that up i might release that in a future update 
um, is have the trigger as the start for in on the menu and stuff. as well as game. Act 1. The last shot bar. Welcome to Cyprus Ridge, cool, your favorite unsettling little mi- Stage begin. What the fuck is going on out there? Who? Cool. It sounds like a riot. We need to get out of here. Ah, there. Let's go try the kitchen. Oh, what the fuck are they? <laughs> it's got like a Resident Evil health bar on the side there. Cool. Help, pick up. Resident Haven't these fuckers Evil. ever heard of Mies and Plas? Interesting game, man. Right. Let's have a look at Res. Is this a PlayStation VR game? Oh, I keep forgetting to press the trigger instead of start. Let's head back down. Right, trigger this time. Head to church. Cool, mate. No problem, man. You ain't got time for church anyways, dude. <laughs> well, once you've got the machine, church will be out the window. What is res, dude? I'll find out, I suppose. Is that another game that needs fixing by any chance? Or could it be a resolution issue? Doesn't seem to be loading. sure what's going on there let's have a look see if uh... seems to have a few things loaded in the background there It's completely crashed the system by the looks of it, that game, dude. I can't even quit out. Two seconds. Um, how can I... Yeah, it doesn't like that game at all, dude. It won't even let us delete it.
because I can't see my cursor either. Two moments. Right, that game seems to um, completely crash the system, dude. I can't move anything out. I can't even close down the down hyperspin. Um, let's have a look. Can't even Alt F foiled. I can Windows key, but yeah, it's just not letting us close anything it won't even let us close hyperspin down ah right res is still open by the looks of it but what i'll do I'll try and exit out of that. Right, so res is still open. What I need to do is close rocket launcher down. So let's have a look. He's still there, Chris. Is it is res a game that you've recently fixed? Because that's seriously just messed up the system, that. Um, can't find. Right, what I'll have to do is load me rocket launcher so I can get my mouse back. Just find a game. If I bring that over, I can... Yeah, it seems to be... Uh, seems to be doing stuff in the background there on the system um yeah it keeps jumping each time is that just loaded the game uh, it's, it's, it seems to be trying to load in the game still it may may even be resolution problem I know some games on even PC games if it's in 4K it, it it does some weird stuff. So let's quit out that. And that should bring me mouse back. There we go. Right, I've got me mouse. Let's see if we can close this, this application down. See what the hell is going on. No, not taskbar settings. What am I doing? Task manager. Uh, yeah, it's a, doesn't like that game at all and i can't it won't let us force close it down at all i'd have to sign out and ah right it's let us close it perfect right we'll stay what's going on there why is that flashing so much something's something's glitched out on it
Do you see that yourselves? It is flashing on the screen there. I think I'm going to have to restart the system. Is anything else open? Mouse display utility. That shouldn't be open still. Can't see anything else. Console window host. Let's, let's try and load up again anyways. Yeah, not sure really what went on there. Just the game crashed and it completely messed up the system. So, let's go back into Chris's drive. Gun games. Let's see if it's caused any major, major issues um, and try and load in the game on his drive. If not, I'll probably have to just restart it. But if I do that, I'm going to lose the um, game itself. So we have Blamcom shooting gallery on there. Yeah, that loaded in okay. Now it should, if I exit out, is it? Right, I think it is doing something because that mouse. The mouse is moving all over the place. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think it's doing something weird with um, the mouse, so I might have to just say no saying back in. Um, I'll not do that, I'll just go through the games, I'll, I'll not load into the games until I've restarted and that, but um, let's have a look through what's, what we haven't seen yet. So, add a look at that, um, Operation Ghost, Pip Pip, have I went back around, Pew Pew. Rabbit Protocol, Real Break, that bloody game. Which one's that? Ooh. We have more. What's that? More Ruin Crazy Chicken. Tactical Retreat. Type into the dead overkill. Now I'd love to get the shark shooter guns working on this game. Um, unfortunately, you've got to have a gun for IR gun or um, a light gun, basically, um, which is a shame because it's such a good game. Um, it's got two games on it. It's got Type into the dead, which you use a keyboard for, but within the game, it also has the actual full game of. Um, the House of the Dead Overkill. Time Grace is free off. Not seen that one before. Until last until the last bullet. Who? And I've not heard of that one either. So that's interesting. And it looks like is that a meme game? Looks like I mean, it says it's a PC one though. Looks like a meme game, cool. I think I played those ones before. So let's exit out. Right, I'm going to probably leave the stream there because the mouse is doing weird stuff in the background. Um, so I'm going to have to sign out, sign back in. Um, like I say, we've done...
tons of updates chris updates his drives anyway so any issues that you do have um he just update the system do recommend if you ever do have an issue with a shark shooter you just sign out sign back in or restart the machine via the main menu yeah so if i go back we can go to exit that'll shut the whole system down so let's go back again So like I say, we have updated the games as well. So we've got um, the Jurassic Park Arcade, which is new. Um, let's have a look. What was the other one? Was Terminator Salvation new? Walking Dead as well. Um, and we've gone through all the shooting games, all the recoil options, stuff like that. But I, I can't really do much more. I don't want to have to mess on with something. If, if it's playing something funny in the background, I don't want to load up my um, demo shooter and my main people and stuff like that I could still some of the other rather than start the system but I think I'll leave the stream there tons of cool stuff on there I haven't even scratched the surface on his drive um, and that's it really if you wish to purchase a shark shooter hit us up at dean at shark uk like I say once you purchase your shark shooter you can go ahead and purchase Chris's Lego drive if you're not bothered about the alien fixed gun kit and a sharpshooter you don't have to have a sharpshooter you can just buy chris's drive if you've got a home pc and some gun for ir guns you can just purchase his drive so you're not just stuck limited with um his drive on my system his drive will work on any system and um, but it only works alongside my system where other systems it will work in replacement of so like share subscribe to the videos hit that notification bell and i'll catch us in the next one see you later Bye.